How's it going, Scorpio? I hope everybody's having a great week. Welcome back. And for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you feel drawn to the title and the messages within, that's when it's meant for you. Never force anything to fit. I do make it as personal as possible, so do take what resonates. And then always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity and similarities. All right, Scorpio, I am giving away one free personal reading this month. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. And then leave whatever type of emoji you would like to down below. Whatever you're feeling in the moment, leave that emoji down below. Maybe even leave the word giveaway in the comment section. Um, and at the end of this month, I do this each and every month. It's usually more than one. I'm going on vacation this month, so it's just one. Um, but at the end of each month, I remind all who participated to check their notifications because I randomly choose those people and reach out to you through YouTube. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your past, present, and future. There's someone seeking you out. All right, so in the past energy, we have wisdom, a lot of strength and knowledge learned um, along your journey in terms of love and relationship. Going within. Spending some time alone. Possibly some of you have started to meditate, but being in sil silence, really receiving the messages, not just that your soul is giving you, um, but also the messages that your spirit guides in the universe are channeling into you. Following your intuition always. Yeah, see, I feel like for some of you, you've been through some situations where you have let, been left feeling alone or on the outside looking in. You might have been love bombed, gaslighted. Ghosted. And I, I know when you're feeling this in the moment, you're not feeling that, that this is a blessing. But when you're actually left to spend some time alone, a lot of growth happens. That's when that wisdom is found. And in the present energy, masculine energy. Now, for those of you... You know, I have a few men that do watch my channel. You possibly are seeking someone out. It says your masculine, your twin, or your soulmate is seeking you. So there is someone showing up in your energy, Scorpio. And let's see what else. We do have masculine and feminine traits in each one of us. So do keep that in mind. And a brand new beginning is about to take place. Fertility and control. Letting go. You know, I always say it's never too healthy to watch a good portion of your day watching tarot readings. Um, tarot reading after tarot reading after tarot reading, hoping someone's going to enter your life, hoping, 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 hoping you're going to find love. Releasing control. Wanting something so bad that you think about it so much. Releasing control. Because you have to remember what you're thinking about, you're bringing about. So if you're chasing after someone, if you keep hitting someone up, um, sending them text messages, not getting any reply, you know, driving past their home, maybe driving past their work, hoping to see them, that's control. You don't want to think, make the most of your day thinking about someone or hoping someone returns. You don't. If you know, depending on where your age is at, thinking, am I ever going to find love? Is it ever going to happen for me? You know, if you're seeing someone else being happy and in a relationship and you think to yourself, um, there's got to be hope for me. No. You got to let all of that type of, like that type of thinking you got to let it go. Trust in what you don't know. Trust in divine timing. Having faith in your spirit guides. 
because there is a new brand a brand new beginning happening. All right. Let's get into it deeper. One card flew specifically out as I was shuffling. The Four of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Look at this. So six and four obviously is a 10. So you are closing out a cycle in your life. You're actually going through a transition right now. With the Four of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, this is a solid gift from the universe. A divinely get guided gift to you. Something you're not expecting. And it is going to be fair. The Six of Pentacles is showing how you've put forth your best effort, your best energy to people, to situations around you along your journey. And this is a gift from the universe coming through. I love that they just fell out together. All right, let's get deeper into it. Spirit, please clarify the past energy for Scorpio as wisdom and feeling alone. Wisdom and alone. All right, five of swords, feeling defeated, surrendering to what has happened or what hasn't happened in your love life. The star, yes. Look at how much you're evolving. You are surrendering. And I just heard you're letting nature take its course. You are spending some time going within. You're evolving. You're healing. This is rejuvenating energy flowing through. But this is also you manifesting your dream come true. There is that bird. So to pay attention to birds. Obviously it's a seagull. Birds, feathers. But that is your spirit guides right beside you. And then what also came out is six of swords, justice, and six of cups. There might be someone off at a distance from you, different state, different country. I also feel with the Six of Cups, there's somebody that you've dealt with that is showing up in your energy, wanting to make things right. Six of Swords and Justice is balancing, you know, is leaving the troubled waters, possibly making that amends. And I have to say, with Wisdom and Alone coming out in the past energy, I feel that there is someone in a distance feeling alone, missing you. But overall, I feel this is the energy of you leaving the troubled waters behind. You bringing that, your own stability and balance into your life, into your mindset. And there is an offer coming in. Possibly somebody even coming towards you, giving you a gift. All right, let's see what else we can get. All right, Spirit. Present energy is masculine energy. I do. I feel for some of you, there's someone in the distance missing you. And I saw this before flipped over the Five of Cups. We have five, five here, so change is coming. We had four and six. Remember, we're the two cards coming out, which is a 10, breaking down to a five, five. So pay attention to tens, pay attention to five, 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 five. But this is someone missing you. And I have to say, Scorpio, you may be in this energy right now. But what you don't see sometimes when you're in the sadness and you're missing someone or missing something specifically, there are two cups of, well, here they're coconuts. But there is two cups of feelings and emotions, not just one. There's two. So there is someone in the distance feeling this for you. Missing you. We have fire. We have water. We have air energy so far. Actually, with the Six of Pentacles in the very beginning of the reading, we have some earth. I feel like there is someone very confident in, in every aspect of their life. The journey that they're seeing through, but they're missing you. Like everything else is falling into place for this person. Except in the love department. And, you know, they're missing you. Spirit, please clarify 
the overall outcome in the future as fertility and control. The Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. See, you want to release the control. You want to move beyond these burdens. And these could very well be burdens of the past. And you know what? A girlfriend of mine at work made me laugh yesterday. She was talking about all the men that she's meeting. And she's like, and nothing is transpiring because of what have ha what's happened to them at their prom. And I was like, what do you mean at their prom? Because, I mean, she's in her 40s. She's like, yeah, still talking about things that happened at their prom. And it made me laugh. So with that being said, people do heal and resolve and surrender at different moments in their life. It may be chapters that have followed them throughout their entire journey. You know, something that might have been very easy for you to get over is a little bit harder for others. But her saying that just takes me back to my readings and makes me laugh. So with the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands, this is wanting to release that control. Take action for yourself. You know what I mean? Whatever feels like a burden in terms of the love aspect of your life, try to release them one by one. Lighten that burden for yourself. Yes, because Spirit is saying they got this. The Wheel of Fortune, there is a faded partner coming your way. One that you touch, you know, your soul touches their soul. And it will be divinely guided. We have 10, 10 showing up here. Obviously, 10 after 10. Could even be dealing with a Libra, 10, 2. You know, obviously, 10th month, second day of the year. 10 2. Um, this could be happening in 10 days, in 10 months at the time of this reading. Because a 10 definitely plays out in this reading. And then we have, doesn't say the month, but we have the sixth. The sixth, right there. So six in six days you know take it out resonate sometimes timing is very quirky with the with um your spirit guides something that might be in plain vision it's like there's you know with timing there's always like a, a specific meaning that spirit is sending for each one of you it's going to be different but tens and sixes definitely play out five i just feel is the change coming towards you But it is a fated partner and they are coming in confident for you. All right, let's see what else we can get. All right, spirit. Present into future for my Scorpios. That flipped over in reverse. Let's see what it is. Five of Swords in reverse, making an amends. Yes. Five of Swords in reverse is feeling defeated, is surrendering, and is making an amends with someone. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Overcoming these blockages. I feel that there is a missed opportunity here. Yes, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. I have to say, Scorpio, the endings that have occurred, the endings that have left you feeling alone, it was all a part of your journey for this wisdom and this growth within yourself. These tens, we have 10, 10, 10, 10. Big chapter in your life closing. An abundance coming towards you in terms of love and romance. The King of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. So, there is, you know, this person is coming in slowly. With the Six of Cups coming out, I do feel, for some of you, it's someone you know. And I know you're all, you know, some of you are saying, I don't want the past. Okay. It doesn't mean the past isn't going to contact you. And again, 
it, you may be swearing off the past, right? But it could be someone that you're not even thinking about. Always remember that. I, along my journey, when I would listen to readings, you know, for most of my time, and that's why I strongly suggest not making it an everyday part of your life. Um, when I was listening to readings, I always had one person in my mind space. Yes, they're going to reach out to me. Yes, they want to reconcile. It was never that person. It was never that person. It was always somebody else that I had you know, met along my journey, possibly an acquaintance that I dated a couple times, right? That's why multiple tarot readers offer personal readings because this is very general. Yes, there's going to be messages that you feel drawn to receive, but always remember the person that's meant for you may not be the person that you're thinking about. The person coming towards you is coming in slowly. They're working on being very focused on their life, making big opportunities for themselves and seeing them through. This person coming in is coming in with their cup completely filled with love. The king of cups is very emotionally grounded. They know what they want in terms of love and relationship. I also feel that there's a lot of passion here and chemistry between the two of you. All right, spirit. Final message for my Scorpios in terms of love. Yes, look at this. Nine of Cups and Three of Pentacles. So with this coming through, somebody coming towards you, wanting to work as a team with you, realizing that you are their wish fulfillment just as much as they as they are to you. And remember, look at this. All of these options that both of you have in life in terms of love and romance. And I know some of you say, I've been single for 10 years. I have no options. You do. You do. Are you putting yourself out there? Are you making the effort? Are you mingling? Are you going to happy hour after work when your coworkers ask you? Are you hitting the beach with your coworkers or your friends when they ask you? Are you adding a dating app to your phone and maybe trying that out? Does it seem creepy? Sometimes it does to me. And I've done it. But that's also how I met my fiancé. And for some reason, he felt so much different to me than anybody else on in that dating app. I felt comfortable telling him around the intersection that I lived. I felt very comfortable with him. Um, just talking to him 2 o'clock in the morning on our first date, on my birthday. He took me out for my birthday. It was very weird how everything fell into place. So for those of you that swear off online or app dating, it may just be that one person that stands out from all of the creepiness out there. And of course, use your intuition. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. When I met my fiance, we instantly clicked. We were both ready to delete the app. We were like, you know what? Why don't we just meet at the coffee place on our way to work. It was very like in between to, to, to both of us. So we met there, we got a coffee, 5.30 in the morning, on my way to the hospital, on his way to wherever he was going at the moment. And it was different because I didn't hear from them that entire day when normally we were texting back and forth. Later that night he called me, which was completely different because we were texting and it went on from there. And my intuition told me he was a good person. And just to make sure he was a good person, the second date I had him come in and meet my dog, she growls at everybody. He literally got down on the floor with her, immediately meeting her. She brought every toy to him. And I was like, he must be a good person. He must, she didn't growl one time. Instantly got down on the floor. And I didn't tell him that she was a growler because she was very protective of me and her. It was always me and her. He got right down on the floor. And from that moment on, she was his. Completely different. So that's what I mean. Like there's someone coming towards you where everything's going to fall into place. It feels like a wish granted. They're going to treat you like that, that person that they want to adore, respect. You know what I mean? 
and it very well may even happen through work or business. Three of Pentacles is business-like, is work, um, so it may even happen by doing business with their pers with this person and through work. So for those of you that are workhorses and work often, often as myself, it will happen there. All right, let's get additional messages. And I feel me telling that story to some of you. Some of you needed to hear it. All right, we have a card of timing. We have within six to nine months. During the winter, the moon, very romantic, very fantasy-like, very compassionate, all up in their feelings, developing over time like fine wine. For those of you that love wine, I, I just feel a big transformation through you and a huge cycle closing out in terms of love and dating. Yeah, see, with this coming out, you or the querent, a person you already know, fiance, spouse, love interest, masculine energy coming in strongly. Like I said, put yourself out there. This does say public venue. So if you're invited somewhere, if you're invited to a party, if you're invited to a celebration of somebody getting engaged or what, whatever, Put yourself out there. Open that door. Step out of your comfort zone and get, get out there. And it will happen within divine timing. Your spirit guides are guiding someone to you. And I got to say, with the Six of Cups, it's for some of you, someone you know. And I'm going to get some messages for those of you that it turns out to be someone that you know. I wish I could share my good news with you. I don't react when people mention you. If this was something that happened in the workspace or that you had mutual friends or family, when you're brought up, they have to exit the room because it's just too hard for them to talk about you. Remember in the beginning of the reading how I said I feel like someone's missing you. I do feel like they're all up in their feels for you. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. And with the Five of Cups... And the five of swords coming out. I do feel like for some that it may have been a disagreement that happened between you and this person. That left like a negative space between the two of you. And I'll wait from a sign from you. For those of you that still follow each other or you know you might have deleted each other on social media. Maybe posting a place that the two of you visited. You know, maybe like if it was me and my fiance, I, if this would have happened, I would have posted, you know, if it was very early on and it only lasted a little, you know, a short amount of time, short term, maybe posting the picture of my iced coffee on my way to work. And it would have been the place that we met, you know, something like that. All right. And one final message. All right, we'll take them. And they did fall out in a bunch. So we have infatuation. Yeah, see, this person was all up in their feels for you. They were going back and forth with like, is this real or is this infatuation? Is this like, I feel though for those of you that were intimate, it was just off the charts. And it's like they had a hard time going back and forth with like, is this a real thing? I don't know if this was love or if it was in love with the idea of being in love. Our connection was all too consuming and I could not wrap my head around it. And here is that winter energy coming through again within the six to nine months. So we have December 22nd to March 19th. Now this could also be someone that you're thinking of that may fall through um, as a Capricorn, Aquarius, even Pisces. And then they are they're missing you. They're going through all of their thoughts within their mind space. And I feel like for some of you, Scorpio, you're going through this. This is you closing out that cycle that I spoke of. Anything that feels depleting or feels defeating. 
they're, they're left feeling like a disappointment. You're moving beyond that. And I just go back to these two cards that came out in the very beginning. Very big message here. Again, the 10 closing out a chapter, but also a cosmic gift from the universe. You're not expecting it. All right, Scorpio, let's get some tiles. We have D, L, U, S, I, N, Y, V, E, blank scrabble tile, K, T. Only one repeat. So do take what resonates, leave whatever you're feeling, that type of emoji down below in the comment section. Anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Please keep in mind that next week at some point, it, my shop will go on vacation mode um, because I will be going on vacation the um, last two weeks of July. My readings will still be posted. I'm going to take everything with me for YouTube. Etsy, I need my space, my zone, you know, so I'm going to put it on vacation mode. It will reopen in the beginning of August. So much love and light, guys.